Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, Andreas Robert, a school counsellor with the Ministry of Education, is instrumental uh, in the Ohangwena Teenage Pregnancy Prevention Campaign 2024. Now, this campaign aims to address the high rates of teenage pregnancy in the Ohangwena region and provide support and resources to young people. Andreas is also the program facilitator for the campaign and he now joins us telephonically all the way from Enana. Very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us, Robert. Um, good evening, John. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Uh, could you tell us about uh, the Ohangwena Teenage Pregnancy Prevention Campaign, of course, that is set to take place this year, uh, what its, ex its uh, key objectives and what is it, what is it trying to exactly achieve? Yeah, um, the Teenage Pregnancy Prevention Campaign actually have quite uh, a broad uh, picture as to what we want to achieve. However, this campaign is primarily aimed at enhancing health equity among the adolescent boys and girls. Now, if we look at the health equity among adolescent boys and girls within the rural area and the city, they pick quite a big number, and this campaign wants to curb mm. that uh, differences. For example, John, if you look at the statistics of teenage pregnancy that have been recorded in the commerce region compared to the statistics of teenage pregnancy in the Ohangwena region. Right. You realize that uh, commerce is more populated than Ohangwena, but however, commerce has less uh, learners that are getting pregnant because and now this is a result of health equity that is not balanced uh, when it comes to the rural area and the towns. And bit, the other yeah, objective, yeah. we want to provide a platform where teenagers can openly talk about sex and associated consequences such as the STIs that comes with teenage pregnancy. I mean, m many a times our learners are only afraid of getting pregnant right. because that is what is visible and people can laugh at that. But if you look at the associated uh, STI that comes along with teenage pregnancy, mm. it is overlooked and this campaign aims to provide a platform where such matters can be engaged. Very well. Uh, could you perhaps just expand a little bit, a little bit, bit more um, on why exactly you think the statistics are much higher in the northern region, specifically the Ongwena, where you are, of course, going to be tackling this compared to other regions in the country. Yeah, that, that comes back again to access to information. I mean, if we look at the statistics that have been recorded recently, John, right. it indicates that in the Ohangwena region alone, we have about 9,077 girls that fell pregnant between the year 2020 and April 2024. Mm -hmm. Now, in the statistics that I've just mentioned, which is 9,077, 283 learners are below the age of 14, of which the youngest mother is nine years old. So it, it, these statistics are quite alarming, and it's what attracted us to, to come and host the campaign here in the Ohangwena region. Mm. So how are you working uh, with local schools, communities, and other stakeholders uh, who, to ensure that the campaign really is effective at the end of the day and is also trying to achieve the goals and objectives that you just mentioned earlier? Um, I, I should mention that um, this campaign is, is really giving a picture or a true re a reflection of united we stand and divided we fall as a nation. I mean, the Hilda's Women and Youth Empowerment Organization, a very small, or let me rather say, an establishing NGO from Okahanja, has the aim of empowering the young people has the aim of targeting and curbing the number of teenage pregnancies within the country. However, due to limited resources, they approached the United Nations Population Fund, 
of which the United Nations Population Fund say no. Nobody should be left out. If you have such an idea, let no Namibian child be left out. We are getting on board, and then the organization then collaborated with the Ministry of Education so that they can have this campaign in the schools looking at the teenage pregnancy statistics. However, we also have the Ministry of Health on board. I mean, when we talk about teenage pregnancy, we talk about contraceptives. We also have a backing from the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. where they provide um, a health profession to come and talk about um, the type of contraceptives. They speak about the, uh, the referrals, where the learners should find these services. And also in collaboration with this campaign, we have the Legal Assistance Center, of which they now speak about um, the Child Protection Act, what is a child's right and what is a child's responsibility that comes with this, with this right. Very well. And uh, the outcomes of this uh, program, what are, you, what are you expecting to be the outcome of this initiative uh, when it's fully uh, or finally completed? Uh, this campaign, we really want to reduce the rate of teenage pregnancy in our Angwena region, John. As I just mentioned, today we were joined by a health profession from the Ministry of Education, where he, ha he highlighted that alone this year, mm. from January to date, Ohangwena region have already recorded 1,088 learners that felt pregnant. Right. So by the end of this campaign, we really want to echo a sound that learners should abstain, the learners should refrain from sex activities that can really hinder their studies. We want to improve clinical visits because the healthcare pro profession also says that the learners do not come to the hospitals to seek medical uh, advice because they, are, they have that uh, stereotype. They are afraid to be bullied. They are afraid to be chased away. Mm. So by the end of this campaign, we also want to improve clinical visits. We want to educate the learners on the type of contraceptives and the most convenient at the right age. Very well. Andreas, thank you so much for making the time to talk to us this evening and wish you all the best uh, for this campaign. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, John. That was Andreas Robert, a school counsellor with the Ministry of Education, uh, who is, of course, instrumental in the Ohangwena region uh, pregnancy uh, prevention campaign 2024 that is set to kickstart in just a couple of weeks. Now, of course, we have more interviews coming your way right here on your home channel, NBC One, with the Daily Roundup.